Red Ted Art, we have a super cute, fun <laughs> and easy craft for the 4th of July today. Let's take a look and see how these rocking Uncle Sam's are made. So you will need a paper plate. You will need um, bits of paper in different colors. I'm gonna use some blue, some red, some white, and a little bit of pink. But to be honest, you can just use white and color things in as you go. So it can be really, really thrifty. Um, you will need a little bit of glue stick, a pen, some scissors, and a little bit of paint, unless you choose to use uh, some pink paper. So we begin with by coloring in Uncle Sam's face. So we have to fold our paper plate in half. So we've got our middle for the rocking. And then we unfold it again. And now we have our surface to color. So I'm gonna paint that in pink. Like mentioned, you can use, uh, you don't have to use paints, you can use paper, so a semicircle of paper. You could use um, just colored pens like crayons anything really. So I'm just going to cut the color this in pink because I've got it and it's a really nice color. And then I'm going to let it dry. Time to create our hat. So for the hat, oh, I should have done this before, you need to measure roughly the width of the face. It's not an exact science. So I've measured it here and I'm going to cut straight up, straight as you can. I also now want some white stripes to go along the top. So this is some scrap paper and I just literally want to have, I don't know, about a centimeter or a centimeter and a half, some white strips. Three is enough. I think they look good. It doesn't. Don't worry about the bottom bit. This is what we're going to glue on the back of the paper plates. As long as the top is all fine, that's great. So I'm going to now glue these down. Start with the middle one, actually. Again, you can use white paper and just draw on the hat. You can use. Uh, yeah, red paper like we have now and you can use paints to add white stripes or you can have white paper and add paints to add red stripes it's really a question of materials that you have at home or in the classroom and adapting them so that you can make this craft there we go now i didn't go quite to the edge so i'm just going to trim this just to make it even Great, now I want the brim of the hat. So I'm gonna get a bit of blue and I'm gonna measure out, I want it to be a bit further than the than my hat. So I'm just making a little mark. So I've got this and now I'm gonna cut straight up and along. Make sure you're happy with the size. I think that's quite good. I maybe didn't cut it super straight, but that's okay, because I'm just gonna later, when I'm gluing it on the paper plate, you won't notice. So I think about there is good. What do you reckon? Let's just check, give it an idea. That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Glue the back on. Now we need some stars. Now stars can be a bit tricky to draw. I appreciate it. So the best way I find is I'm gonna fold this over. I'm gonna get a pencil and I'm going to practice drawing a five pointed star. So I don't know if you've tried this before. You go up, down, across and over. Very simple. And then if you want, you can just go over it a little bit, maybe even out the different star shapes. Don't worry about the lines because we're just gonna cut extra. I think that works for me. So I'm gonna cut this out. I'm cutting five of them. I'm only gonna use four. 
but one of them is the one with the pencil mark, so obviously you don't want to use the pencil marked one. Let's have a look and see if we like them. I think they look really cute. One, two, three, and four. I think they look charming. And glue these down. So that's your hat. Don't cut it, you'll need this for sticking so your hat's ready. Now you want to add the facial features. So again, I'm gonna use my scrap paper. It's really good to use up scrap. And I'm gonna cut out two eyes. So one circle, two circle. I think this one's a bit bigger. And what you can do is you can also use googly eyes if you prefer, you can draw your own. It's totally up to you, and again, depending on the resources you have in your environment. We also want a little moustache, so I'm going to draw with a light pencil this time. Kind of like a, a tear shape, but with a little, like a comma maybe, is that a comma? That sort of shape. And do it big, actually might cut it a bit bigger than I've drawn it because I do want it quite generous. If you're using scrap paper, you can always have another go. I think this will look quite good. It's looking so cute, look at that. And finally, two rosy cheeks. Again, just optional. Don't have to do any of these parts. Use a coin if you're not practiced in cutting circles. And then we're ready to stick our final features onto our paper plate. So, really easy now. We just need to glue on our face and eyes and moustache. little bit is to add the um, hat. Now sometimes this curls over a bit so just curl it the other way otherwise it'll flop. What you'll need to do is put some glue here just check that it fits nicely on the back half. So fold this in half. If it sort of sticks too far you can just cut the curl corners off which I wish I'll do. And then add lots of glue around here. and position your hat. So cute. I love this guy. Press into place and you're almost finished. You've got one last little bit to do, which is to get a little bit of tape fold the tape over itself Pop it inside, press down, it'll take a little bit to hold and then once you've got it in place you have your rocking Sam. Now we're going to take a look at it full, you know, face forward so you can see how cute these are but this is basically how easy it is to make an Uncle Sam rocking paper plate. Now don't forget, as per usual, if you like this craft, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We'd love to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.